Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 22nd, 23rd, so Monday, Tuesday. We're just going to see whatever comes up. I'm going to read these cards intuitively. This reading is for somebody. I don't know who. Doesn't matter what sign you are. Maybe for you, it might not be. Angel of Balance. Maybe there's some balance that's going to be coming back to your life through some situation. Ooh, hostilities. Attachment. Yikes. There could be some arguments, okay? There could be some arguments and you need to find your, oh, your inner, ability to keep it under control, right? I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Somebody could still be attached to you and they're not happy that you're coming along just fine, okay? So keep that in mind. Maybe you've refound your balance, you know, your peace, your harmony, and somebody doesn't appear to be happy about it, okay? There's some sort of could be a man. Looks like it's a man, huh? We have somebody here who's not happy. Could be jealous. Maybe upset. Maybe this person is really upset that you have detached or that you've refound your self. Self love. Right? Yeah, they, yeah, it looks like you've found that love for yourself. Surrendered. You have surrendered. Now, you could be dealing I, I, with Pisces, okay? Because this is the moon. It says goddess of the moon. It's a seven. So, I mean, five plus two equals seven. Something, something, and I'm not, it doesn't have to be a Pisces. could be anybody. could be Cancer as well because Cancer is ruled by the moon. But somebody has been, has taken the mask off. Seeing the truth of a situation has regained some balance by surrendering, releasing, setting clear intentions. And whoever it is that is being detached is not happy. And perhaps they're ready to fight now. The time is now. It's a six plus two is an eight. So they, they like want their power back. It's like you have detached and now this person wants their power back, right? Ooh, harvest time. Yeah. You found your, your, the time is ripe because you have done some healing. I mean, this is reminding me of a temperance card, okay? You've done some healing. You've done some inner work. You've evolved. Now you're receiving some sort of rewards for all the work that you've done, that you allowed by, through this surrender. And now we have some man that is going to take action. Somebody is coming after you very, very quickly. They're right on your tail. They don't want you to get away. Ah. I'm starting to get the goosebumps. Walking away. It's, that's interesting, huh? You've, you've walked away. You've closed that door. You're walking away. You're closing that door out of self-love. There's self-love here. I know what love is, and I, I deserve love, and I love myself enough to walk away from this chain that has kept me stuck. I can't keep this mask on anymore. 
it's like heaven has stepped in. Seriously. You surrendered. You've surrendered and they, they are at your beck and call. It's like your wish is my command. You've detached. Walked away. And now the door to romance is opening. So it looks really, really good. Somebody is being re rewarded. We have somebody here that is being rewarded for surrendering and allowing this healing to happen, you know, allowing themselves to detach and put themselves first. It looks like there is absolutely some sort of reward coming in the, in the name of romance. Okay. A new door is opening because you walked away out of self love. And with this full moon that's coming up, there could be an opportunity for this door to open if you haven't, if it hasn't opened already. If it has opened, congratulations, you earned it. You allowed it. But I'm here to tell you there's still somebody that is hostile and doesn't want to let you go. They may see that you're being chased by somebody else. So be prepared. There could be some sort of oh, altercation. There could be some kind of altercation because they don't want to let you get away. So be prepared. I think because you have been blessed with a newfound love for yourself and you have allowed yourself to detach from a situation that was unhealthy, you have surrendered. You are being rewarded with new love this door to romance is opening and it's in and it is brought to you from above i mean threes are your prayers have been heard your prayers have been heard so for some of you there is a new opportunity congratulations and it's because you've surrendered you've surrendered to the mystery you've surrendered to the universe you've surrendered to god right and now they're going to help you to get your life back on track. The time is now. We have these two eights. The time is now. If you haven't surrendered to God, whatever it is that you are still clung to, whatever it is that you are still chained to, the time is now. To get your life back on track, surrender, release, walk away, close that door, don't look back, love yourself enough to do, to do so. Face the unknown and the door to romance will open for you. You have to have faith and trust. To lose your faith and trust. That they hear you, that they're working for you, that they're helping you, because you they are working on your healing, and you are healing. You are healing. So I think the time is ripe for a new beginning here, because you have taken action to break free of something that was holding you back. And now you've found that self-love enough to walk away so congratulations i mean what more can i say other than you are receiving some sort of gift okay you are that leads to a new door opening in love so congratulations congratulations congratulations
I mean, I don't know what else to say. I guess I could get some more cards. Let's get some oracle cards. We haven't used this deck in a while. Oh, there we go. Came a flipping. Diving for light. Maybe we'll get one more. We're going to get one of these Archangel Michael cards. We haven't used this deck in a while. Somebody is receiving some sort of gift for surrendering. And it has to do with love. The door to romance is opening. With this, with this full moon. Okay? So be prepared. Lean on God and angels for support. God. Angels. Dear God and angels, I give you this. Briefly describe the situation. I give you this problem. I give you this attachment. Now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. And there is a miracle coming. Because you have surrendered to God and angels. It's amazing how these cards come out the way they're supposed to. Your ability to let go and let God is bringing you a reward. Trust me, it is. Whoever it is that you have let go of may not like it. It is what it is, right? Diving for light. We have 11 here, 11 here, 11, 11. Your thoughts become things. Spiritual awakening. Fast moving energy. Instant manifestation. This is something that you have been praying for, thinking a lot about. Diving for light. How brave you are. You are diving for light. It can be so much simpler to seek light in the heavenly in which is blissful, sweet, loving, and kind. To look for the light in which is dark is an advanced task that only a rebellious and brave heart will attempt. You may not feel that you have taken such a journey by choice, yet you have taken this wise challenge on from deep, deep within your soul. Your innermost being has evoked this situation in your life <clears throat> with the intention that you grow in power, wisdom, and, creati and creative juice. It also wants you to experience a bold and fearless trust in life and become further empowered to live it with zest and courage. The oracle of diving for light speaks of a time when you are called into darkness through life circumstances, situations, relationship challenges, or inner struggles that defy clear understanding. That darkness might be a creative block, a sense of being in a void of or feelings of depression, rage, sadness, fear, or anxiety. There may or may not be an obvious cause. The darkness might be generally accepted and socially acknowledged because, it's, because there is a socially acceptable or obvious reason for it, such as a death, divorce, or retrenchment. However, there may be no obvious justification for your experience of darkness. You might not need a reason to be able to accept it. Likewise, you may struggle to find an unconditional acceptance of your experience. Just know that you are actually on track and right where you need to be. Our creative process and our spiritual path go through a similar turning of the real wheel. There is a spring and a summer in the seasons of our soul as well as in the earthly ones. There is the autumn harvest, which is right here, which is funny. And there is a death inherent in winter. 
when energy is concentrated and pulled within to seek out the darkness where it can rest, regenerate, and simply be. Until the time is right for new life, energy, and creative inspiration to burst forth. When diving for light, one must be willing to bear the darkness and understand it has a purpose. Much like winter does upon the earth. It's not an error or through lack of consciousness that you are here now. It is a testament to your spiritual growth and creative process. Not a sign that they are lacking or stalling. The healing process helps you plunge inward and successfully navigate. This oracle brings particular guidance that although you are powerful, you are vulnerable at this time. You need to be alert to sabotage. You absolutely do. You need to be alert to sabotage and criticism that may make you progress more difficult, make your progress more difficult than it already is. You're progressing forward. Somebody not doesn't like it. Beware. Beware, okay? At least some of the people around you might be more attached to their fear and doubt than their faith in, in your process and the ways of the creative, rebellious, spiritual path that asks us to trust unconditionally. You don't need to carry their fear for them. You have your own process to attend to, and they can choose to be inspired by your journey or frightened by it. They are free to respond as they wish, and whatever their responses are, they are part of, that's part of their journey for them to work through. You also need to be vigilant against the darker forces within you. These are the voices that you may not expect, particularly if you are a pure-hearted being who typically resonates with love. These voices or feelings might surprise you with their dark intensity. They may be feelings of hate. This, this, this could come from yourself. They may be feelings of hate, terror, or wanting only to sleep because anything further is just too hard. They may be certain vicious criticism of yourself or tell you that your inner creative work is pointless, unoriginal, not worth it, or stupid. These dark forces may try to tell you that you are on the wrong path, suggest that you will fail, or ask with great condescension, who the hell do you think you are? Okay. So you're moving in the right direction. There's going to be some adversity. Be prepared to face it with love, okay? All right? Keep going on your path. Don't let anybody hold you back. You must stay in your heart and not believe these dark forces. Stay in compassion Fear creates the energy of anger, hate, and destructiveness. These forces are part of life. We don't have to be frightened by them, nor do we need to deny their existence or try to ignore them in order to find light in the darkness. We just need to hold compassion and be intelligently aware so we can avoid being seduced into a trap of needing to prove ourselves or into the mistaken belief that we need to fight against darkness. It's, it's, it's all too easy to get caught up in trying to heal the dark. Darkness just is. Recognize it when it is there and be in your compassionate heart. All you need to do is make a choice. Will you stay in your heart or will you be seduced by the darkness? Oh my God. So you're going to be tested. You're going to be tested. You've done your work. There's a new door opening. All of a sudden, what you have surrendered, what you have released is here to show its ugly head. How far have you come? Be prepared to face that darkness that you have been attached to.
Good luck. The door to romance has opened. It's something you have been praying for. Don't let the darkness suck you back in. Good luck. Remember, darkness can come from within. Or from another person who ain't happy about your newfound light. Good luck. Remember, the timing on these are is fluid. Typically, they they happen for me a few days later. They do, they do. It's it's crazy shit, but you know it is what it is. Talk to you next time. <laughs>